Hello and welcome to Haybridge Math Department um, A Level Math Year Two Pure. We're working our way through Chapter Five, which is on the new way of measuring angles, which is radians, and we're going to carry on today with arc length, which is the second part of five point two. We're working our way towards exercise 5c and being able to complete that now um previously in um this chapter we saw the arc length was take um, worked out you could calculate the arc length of a sector by taking the radius and multiplying by the angle so long as the angle is measured in radians we're going to do a few more examples here um, this time with a few more words thrown in, we will um, build up to a couple of problems, um, which I hope are relatively straightforward, and then you'll be able to answer um, the questions in 5C. So let's get started with quite a straightforward, I hope, word example here. So we've got an arc of radius 5.2 and it's got an angle of 0 0.8. So in any question like this, I would draw out, if I haven't given you a diagram, I would draw out a diagram. So here is my badly drawn arc, and we're going to say it's got a radius of 5.2, and here we've got an angle of 0 0.8 and we want to work out this here so l equals r theta r is 5.2 so we multiply that by 0 0.8 and when you do that you get 4.16 centimeters okay i hope reasonably straightforward i'm going to push on with another example for um you to do so if you'd like to pause have a read of this question and then have a go at yourself Okay, so hopefully you've had time to pause and have a go at this, but this is what you should have got. You should have six here. 0.45 is an angle there. And then again, L equals R theta, which is six times 0.45. Or five, which equals two point seven centimeters, and Bob Schrenkel. So there you go. Right, let's have another example. This time, where <laughs> slightly more difficult, we've got to rearrange, but only slightly more difficult. So let's have a look at this one. So this is example eight from the textbook. This time. We've got a circle, an arc of AB. So here, let's draw that out. Is A is B. Radius of seven centimeters. But we know the arc already is 2.45 centimeters long. So what we want to do here is work out theta so what we're going to do is we're going to do l equals r theta and we know that 2.45 equals 7 theta and then theta equals of course not 
I do hope that you're pausing at the end of something like this and um, making notes on it. Can you make sure that you are doing that, please? But um, before moving on to the next example, so do pause um, after each slide, and then I'm going to go on to the next one, which is a bit more algebraic. Um, but I hope still reasonably okay. So here we've got an arc, and in this arc, we know that the radius is R. Um, there's A, B, and there you've got O. And um, the perimeter, but all the way around. Now, you have to be careful here. The perimeter is a whole distance all the way around. Um, so it's not just the arc length. It's also this R and this R. Don't forget, we've got theta here. So we're going to have to work out R in terms of P and theta. So P equals, well, you've got the arc here, I mean, sorry, radius here and the radius here. So you've got 2R plus R theta. And um, what it's asking us to do is to get it R equals something. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to Factorize out the R, so you've got T plus theta and P over T plus theta. So R equals P over T plus theta. So we factorize out, first of all, from here to here, and then we divide through to get that there. OK, let's have a look at why the arc length of a um, sector in radians is given by the formula um, L equals theta R. Let's actually have a look at the proof of where this all comes from. So we're going to prove this. The way that I want you to think about this is that the arc length is a fraction of the whole circumference. So if you've got the total circumference, then we want the fraction of it that is the um, arc length. Now, the way that we're going to do that, so if we just write down that first of all, that L equals a fraction And you see how bad the handwriting is here. So come, I'm just going to, uh, um, so fraction <laughs> times circumference. Um, well, the fraction is going to be the angle divided by the total number of, um, in this case, radians in a circle. If we're doing this in degrees, it would be theta divided by 360 for the um, fraction. But because we're doing it in um, radians, then it is going to be, because we said there's two pi, so the total number of angles in a whole circle is two pi. So we've got theta over 2 pi. And then the circumference is 2 pi r. So what happens is, is that 2 pi here cancels with this 2 pi here, and you're just left with the theta, the pi, and the r. So you're just left with theta Oh, sorry, I should say the two the pi's cancel, so you're just left with theta r the pi's cancel, and so do the twos, so you're just left with theta and r. And that's where the formula for the arc length comes from. Right, one more example to go. It's one that is requires us to use something from um, year one, AS. Um, let's have a look at it. Um, 
and then I will go through it. So in this example, I'm going to talk you through it, but I would like you to um, read through this first of all before um, seeing how I go about answering it. So please pause and read through now. And now I am going to go through it. So we're going to have to work out this angle here that's the other side of theta so that it completes the um, circles. So we're going to work out this angle here and then take it away from 2 pi to get the angle here. Once we've done that, then we can just plug it into the r theta formula. That bit's easy. Bit. So we've got to work out this angle here. How are we going to work out that angle here? We're going to do it differently if you're following from the book. I'm going to work out that angle using the cosine rule. We have a triangle here. So I have this triangle here. So we have 2.4 two, two There's theta. Oh, best not call it theta, had we? Let's call it something else. Oh no, I'm losing my triangle. Sounds like a song by REM. Okay, so let's call it x because theta is going to be 2 pi minus x. So we're going to work out x and we're going to use, as I said, different to the book, we're going to use the cosine rule here. So we are going to say that 2.4 squared equals 2 squared plus 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times 2 so that twos cos x. Right, rearrange that. Rearrange that and you will end up with x equal to cos inverse of 7 over 25. Do that and make sure you are in radians when you do this on your calculator. Don't leave your calculator in degrees. If you do, you get 1.28700. And then, as we said previously, theta equals 2 pi minus 1.28700. Oh, just leave it in your calculator. And you get 4.9961. And then C equals R theta which is 2 times 4.9961, which is 9.99 metres. Okay, so there you go. It's um, not too bad an example, I hope. Um, let me just select the, this here. Well, you're going to move for me, please. Let's just move this up here. So you can copy this down here. That symbol there, believe it or not, is a two, if that's what you were wondering, because we're using the cosine rule there. Copy that down into your notes, neater than I have done there. But that's all we need from art length for now. That's all you need to be able to answer the exercise. So could you please, in a second, stop and have a go at exercise 5C. Thank you very much. Goodbye.